us with a, a brief history of the evolution of video games from a landmark on the Santa Monica Pier. David. Well, you know, Rick and Elizabeth, obviously we're used to the video games that you can play at home on your cell phone, on an Xbox, a PlayStation, on a computer, Candy whatever. Candy Crush on your phone? Yes. <laughs> well, then you have, of course, some more, should I say, quintessential arcade video games, which are still soaring in popularity. Well, I took a trip back in time and found myself at a place many Southern Californians are very familiar with. It's a Southern California icon, the Playland Arcade on the Santa Monica Pier. Brothers George and Eugene Gordon opened the arcade after World War II. In the 1950s, Playland Arcade was more like a giant carnival with games like rifle shoot, pinball, and shuffleboard. Today, some 65 years later, hundreds of thousands of folks are still enjoying all the arcade has to offer, and Playland is still a family affair. Now George's daughters, Marlene and Joni Gordon, continue his legacy. In 1972, Marlene witnessed the carnival atmosphere transform into a video gaming galaxy. The first game we put here was Pong, and that was a success the moment it came onto our floor. And then from there, uh, the games started to get bigger, better, more interactive games. Over the last 40 years, video games have morphed into high-speed, high-tech virtual worlds. Of course, old schoolers remember the transformation because after Pong, the games took on a newer and flashier look. There was Pac-Man. <laughs> so popular, there was even Ms. Pac-Man. And who could forget Donkey Kong? Eventually, in the 1980s, Playland had games like... Today, the arcade has the latest in high technology. The kids just love them. They love the interactive games. They can't do it at home, so they can come here and they could participate and make themselves part of the game. Raymond Gonzalez is a video game junkie. He drives all the way from Glendale to the pier just to play Dark Escape. This is zombie kill? How many zombies have you killed so far? A lot of them. Good. Trying, to, trying to get all of them done. What is so cool about this game? Why do you like playing it so much? It's You feel into it. This game in particular, you get a lot of air. You feel it in the background. You feel like you're actually in it. It's 3D, so that's what makes it more unique. Video game fanatic Isaac Bradley says it's lonely at home playing on his PlayStation. Isaac prefers the arcade games because it's a more social environment, and he says it's special because his parents took him here as a kid. It's very nostalgic for me. It's just a nice, simple game. It's not too complicated. That and I'm good at it. How does this old school game rate to some of the new crazy video games out there? Um, well, the newer games, it's more about story. This is just, it's simple and it's challenging and there's not much to it other than just play. You have to feel the game, be in the game, and be part of the game. And that's what the Santa Monica Pier Arcade gives you. Our soul is here on the pier. This is where we all feel like home. This is home to us.